On this installment of Diecast Emporium, we're going to be taking a look at the latest Diecast Masters Caterpillar Evolution set. This takes a look at the history of the cat off-highway truck, dating back to the first, the 769, to one of their current models, the 40-ton the cat 770. Now, if you've never owned one of these Evolution sets, they're really, really nice, and they're worth adding to your collection, because not only do you get two 1-50 to scale models in these sets, but you also get a very nice ring-bound book, which you'll see in a minute, um, which has the history of these models and some specification details and some nice pictures from the Caterpillar archive. But it's really just a very nicely presented set. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the set here. So when you first get this, it comes in this black sleeve, which has your Diecast Masters Evolution set on it. it. Tells you what's in it. The item number in this case is 85562. Put this down and we'll slide it out. Once you take the sleeve off, the white main box has two postcard pictures. Here is the Cat 770 up top and the 769. You have Diecast Masters Evolution Series here, your item number 1 to 50 scale. On the back here, you have a paragraph which reads, No one could have reasonably predicted today's technology when the original Cat 769 appeared nearly 60 years ago. But there's no doubt that the people who designed and built the 40-ton truck that started it all shared the same vision that drives the off-highway truck innovation of today. So that is that. When you open this, the first thing that you will see is the Diecast Masters catalog, which shows their full range of products. Here is the ring-bound book, which is very nice. And in here, I'll just show you a couple of pages in here. Of uh, these are pictures and descriptions of all of the cat off highway trucks throughout the history. And in the very back of the book, you have former to current models specification details on all these trucks. So from the 769 up to the 797, you have all of the information in chart form there. So definitely grade A bathroom reading material. All right, on to the set. Again, both of these models are in 1 to 50 scale. And they're mounted to a plastic uh, mounting plate. And here it is right here. Allow me just a minute to get the box out of the way. And then we will take a look at the trucks. center screen there there we go all right so the 770 you have seen before that's been reviewed on this channel this is actually an updated casting of the original Norscott 772 it's been updated it's they've changed it a little bit they've added an operator they've um, updated a little bit of the uh, stairs and handrails some of them that were plastic have now been modified to metal um, so that's nice to see. And again, they've added a modern-day operator in Bob. But the one that we want to pay particular attention to, of course, is the Cat 769, this one right here. This is an all-new casting for Diecast Masters, brand new. And as of right now, the only way to get this particular truck is to buy the Evolution Series set. Now, if you do want to display these trucks elsewhere off of the plastic plinth, you can do that. The, they are simply mounted by screws right here, Phillips screws. Um, but for but for time's sake, for this review, I am not going to do that. But I did want to point out that if you wanted to remove them, you can. They are simply mounted by these little plastic pieces right here. But for functionality, they, the trucks do dump. Both of them go up to a reasonable height. And both of them have rock deflectors between the rear wheels. They are metal pieces, and they do move. The 769 has an older style operator figure, so it's not the same as, as Bob that we've become accustomed to. Additionally, 
the rubber tires have a very good tread pattern and the tires on the 769 are different than they are on the 772 and you would expect that of course so that's really good to see now when cat released the the real 770 in 2007 they took a lot of inspiration from the original 769 in the design of the front end because the 770 and the 772 are the only cat haul trucks that have the center mounted cab uh, most of them are offset just like on the 769. So that's why you have the, the rounded nose that's similar to the 769. So you, that's why they chose this truck to go with the 769. Uh, this is a 40-ton haul truck. The 769 was a 35-ton haul truck. And the first 769, if my research is correct, rolled off the Decatur assembly line in 1963. So both of these trucks are beautifully presented. They have a high quality detail, a high quality paint finish. The decal application is done up very, very well. If I had to make a critique or make a comment that I would like to have seen changed, I would have liked to have seen the 770 um, completely updated and done to a new casting because the hand and the stair grab rails are still way too large and oversized. Um, Bob is not removable in either of these, whether it's Grandpa Bob or um, Millennial Bob. Um, they are not, in this particular set, they are not removable. They are permanently fixed in the cab of these trucks unless you want to disassemble them completely, which I would not recommend doing. Um, but those are just simple critiques because in order to make a better, better product, of course, you have to give out suggestions on how things could be better. But the paint finish is really good, especially on the 769. That is error correct Caterpillar yellow on this particular set. Um, the yellow is correct. It looks great under the lights. So if you are a fan of old cat equipment and or cat haul trucks and or heavy equipment in 1 to 50 scale, I would recommend picking up this set. It is going to retail for just under... $198 US. That may seem like a bit of a high price, I agree, but bear in mind that the price of die cast is increasing and there is nothing that the uh, model manufacturers can do about that. That is all factory driven. Um, so that is something that if you collect die cast models of any make or model manufacturer, you are going to have to deal with as we enter into 2020 and beyond. You have probably already started to see that halfway through 2019. Um, so unfortunately, don't shoot the reporter on that, but that is the sad reality. It seems like everything in this world is going up except our paychecks. That's just the way that it is. So that is going to be the current uh, price that these will be out, and they will be hitting retailers the end of this month, December, early January. And uh, I do have to say, honestly, guys, this is a set worth picking up. I know it's a little bit on the steep price, but the 769 alone... Uh, is a, a very high quality classic model and uh, one that I was definitely looking forward to and absolutely not disappointed when I got the sample for. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you would like to see anything else on this channel that you have not already seen, again, please leave a suggestion in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.